Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's an envelope punch bowl project and inside here are three mini Stroopoffles. Now, I, um, all of the Dutch demonstrators seem to know that I'm a, a total addict for Stroopoffles. And my lovely friend Ilsa, who is, um, uh, she's a Dutch demonstrator under the name of Stampin' Scout. She was very cheeky during one of my per Periscope videos recently and she said, can you make a project for street waffles? And so I cheekily replied, well, yes, of course, if you send some to me. And so she did. And I promised her that I would make a project for her street waffles. And uh, this is the one I've come up with. So I'm going to show you how to make it. And I decided to go with an envelope punch board because I wanted to be able to stack three because, you know, one of them is not enough. We need a, quite a few of them, but also because I haven't done an envelope punch board project for a while. So you need a piece of paper that measures five and seven eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. I, it doesn't work with six by six. If you're working in metric, you need it to cut be cut down to 14.6 centimeters. Okay. So your first punch and score line comes at two and a half inches which is 6.4 centimetres, punch and score, and then you slide it up to four inches, which is 10 centimetres, and you punch and score. After that, we're just gonna follow these guidelines, the ones you've already scored. You're gonna follow them, and you're gonna, well, basically you're marrying them up to there, and there's like a little, a little extra bit of plastic that sticks down, so that's your score guide. And just keep punching and scoring all the way around until you've done eight punches and scores, essentially. So, keep going around. And this is the Go Wild um, DSP stack. I love it. It's so much fun. It's Because it's great colours of the black, the white, and then Sahara sand, you can get away with adding in quite bright colours with it. You can obviously add in pastel shades, but I like the bright colours. Okay. Around the corners, and that's what this bit here is at the top. So you put your corner in, and you just punch it, and it... it it's a really nice round, uh, really nice arc to this corner rounder. Fabulous. Okay, so we don't need that. Let's just move all this out of the way. And then come in and fold all your score lines. So, last couple. Okay, now when you look at it, you've got four lots of triangles, which are the edges. You've got two wide ones and two narrow ones. These wide ones, we're going to cut to the left and right of them because it's going to fold up in that fashion. So, um, oh, you're not going to see that side. I think you're going to be able to see that side better. So I'm just cutting down. So I'm cutting from the first horizontal line to the second. Okay, so that's all I'm cutting. I'm going to do the same there and then the same on the opposite side as well. And like I say, it's either side of the large triangle. Those are the bits that we're cutting away. Flip it over because I want to put adhesive on there. So I'm just going to put snail. Snail or fast fuse. Don't use a wet glue when you're using paper. Um, it just makes it buckle and bow. Um, so I find a dry adhesive is much better. And then just fold them around in much the way that you would normally fold up a box. So this is what's known as a loose edge and that's a, a tight edge. So you're just going to match them up. And that's the building up the corners basically, the corners of the box. I keep going around. And that last one will tuck in there. And originally I had planned to fold it and tie a ribbon, but I didn't like it. Um, I decided that the peg was better, so I'm not going to come along and punch holes in, but you can if you want to. And they fit three of these absolutely perfectly. No, there isn't room for a fourth, which would have been nice. So fold over the sides, and then if you just grip these bits, grip these two top panels, and then grab a mini clothes peg. And close the up like that. And what I've done on this is I've used some glitter paper, uh, sorry, glitter tape. Now, if you've been following on Celebration, you know that these are limited edition. Well, all, all the Celebration products are, but these have only just been released in February. 
so these are available till the end of March and you can get them for free with a 45 pound or 60 euro spend with me I'm not sure what it is in in Canada or or America or the South Pacific countries but you get all three and they are thick rolls they really are thick you get all three for free so I'm just going to grab this one and this this one here this is is called clear but it's not it's sort of like dazzling diamonds you can spritz and color that one um, but I'm just going to go with the silver because you know that's easy and because it's sticky tape it sticks oh don't you just love easy peasy projects I do and it's just sort of jazzy it up a little bit not that it was particularly unjazzy but you know add a little bit of them a little bit of stamping I've got the all boxed up stamp set this is one that pairs up nicely with um one of our kits but I'm you know I'm just using it alone today it's not the block I wanted but it's the one I can reach and let's grab a scrap of whisper white and I'm gonna put Bermuda Bay with this I did I went with Melon Mambo on this one. Oh, oh that was quite a squeak wasn't it <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Bermuda Bay and my washi label punch just on there and I went with the silver sequin trim on this but look we've got Bermuda Bay sequin trim so I'm going to use that instead just chop a bit off and then I'm going to turn this over and grab my fuse and just you know I'm just going to stick it on there I'm not being particularly scientific about it at all, but I am going to cover it with a whole load of, of dimensionals because I really don't want it to come off at all. I think that's maybe too long, but we'll have a look and see. And taste, no, that's okay actually, or maybe maybe a smidge too long. But I think that's quite cute. And it's a little envelope punchable project and it's got three, three cookies in it love it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.